Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. You see, when we make those choices, we make choices for ourselves. We move ourselves through the social circles of our community, of our industry, of our profession, of our life. And we do that in a way that makes us feel good, a way that encourages us, a way that highlights us, and a way that helps us to highlight and shine on other people. When we have liars in a community, they ruin life. When we have people in our family set, a biological group if best, that is destroying a life of ours, we have to look at them and say, what law gives you the right to do anything to my life at all? You are currently a person that is married to someone. You are currently a person that has failed your life. You are currently a person that has no future and no retirement. So I would encourage you to focus on your life. When you decide to be a trophy wife of someone, you foolishly provide yourself no life. Because at any time, God can take that man that you chose that was not the one planned for your life from your life. Then you're stuck in a mansion with llamas, with chickens, with horses, with who knows what, with lots of dogs and animals and people to feed. But you're not prepared because you've been out of the workforce for so long and the artwork, the profession, the abilities you had are no longer intact for this world. Your old skills become a struggle to the new world. And then you start to feel ill in your mind and sad in your soul. And you're not sure why, but it's because you feel that you've timed out and you're too old. America as a society does not regard the aged. We totally put them away in homes. We don't keep them in our homes to keep us with wisdom and solitude of life. What I mean by that is it is true that there's a point at which a mom doesn't want to be a mom anymore to her children and refuses to do her job of teaching children the rules of life. There is a point when she is too old in her mind, too young in her soul to continue to be that mom, either offline or online. There are some people who are elderly that have learned to use cell phones. There are some people who are elderly that use Facebook. There are some people that do this and there's marvelous commercials promoting the value of video channels at this time of life in America where we are allegedly facing a pandemic which allows the entire medical community to get your markers about your life. It allows the entire world of Hispanic and Muslim and Catholic doctors to know everything about your life. We have a problem right now in America with something called continuity of care. It is some marvelous publicity stunt that was put out maybe five years ago in the hospitals around the world that said, you don't need a second or third opinion. We're just going to take all your information, all your content, all your biological everything and put it in a computerized system. And when we do this, anyone who is providing you any kind of care, whether it's feeding you food while you're staying here in our physician's office, or whether it's pay, helping you to pay and figure out your bill in our accounting office, gets to know what you're ill with. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't need some 20-year-old twit paying attention to my medical records. And here's what I know about HIPAA law. It totally failed. HIPAA law only safeguards ourselves from people in the medical community. It doesn't safeguard ourselves from some 20-year-old child who is a part of our extended family who does not regard our rights to medical practitioners that are specialists in our condition. That they think they have the right to walk around the community and profess what they've been lied to about in our situation. From their relative who lied about their rights to speak at all about our medical health care. In life, we have moments of time to put our feet down to say no more to this lie. I will not tolerate you forcing me to do one thing in my life, but we have medical practitioners, we have police officers, we have administrators, we have garbage truck workers, we have street cleaners that literally don't regard human life more than their own. You see, when you start to monkey in someone's life, when you start to play in their property, when you start to ruin their records, you start to take on the world not at all. What you end up doing is losing your life to the lie you've told yourself that I'll be in charge of your life. And that's not true. Do I walk into your home and take over your things? I don't. Do you? 
Do I walk into your car and steal things from you? I don't. Do you? Do I pretend to be white when I'm black? Do I pretend to be black when I'm white? Do I fuck myself across the cultural lines because I just want to be a bad kid or a bad boy or a bad child or a lone wolf in my family? You see, there is a reason that God did produce the races. There is a reason that God does have our spaces across America needing to be protected most of all.